hard to do. Left the house, went down to South Georgia and picked this load up that we got on our back. Headed over here to Hillsboro, Alabama. Get it off in the morning.
have made it to our destination. Walk around right quick. Look, see if we ain't got anything hanging off the trailer or the truck. Those rough Alabama roads, about as bad as their football team. Oh, I'm sorry. Gonna make us something to eat. And we are gonna lay it down. Edit this video for y'all. We will resume. circle right around and take it right to it. And I'll yep. go in that door over there well, or I'll be, be on, on the, the back side of it. Be on the uh, back she'll side tell of you, uh, here comes Christy. So I think I'm probably back inside the back door. You drive in actually. Okay. And uh, but, uh, peanut meal. All right. I'm going to sit around the back of the building. Okay. Just go through there and just follow that and you'll ah. be on the okay. back side of it. No, they'll, they'll get with you. All right, thank you. All right, we got our instructions on where to go. To the back side. So let's go to the back side. Has come, it's called losing my control. The light is gone, along the darkness fill my soul. I wish that you could save me from my isolation. It's way too complicated. Stop this conversation. Stop this conversation. We got no relation. 
unload it. We're gonna pull back on the scale. I had to take my dog on chrome. Um, not the weights, but I use the top pieces on the bottom of my mud flaps on my step. Because they were mud flaps were so short. But I had to take them off. Because you get into these spots where you dip down and the doggone drags and it breaks my step. So I just had to take them off because it drug coming off that scale. Uh, if y'all wasn't having a meeting right here in the freaking yard, I could swing out and turn and get on the scale, but I can't. Let's see if I make it. conversation or a meeting right here in the middle of the yard when you see this truck coming on he got to get on the scale then when I make my turn y'all disperse should have dispersed when I was coming up but we made it Yeah, this is what caught my step flap. That right there. Yeah, you wouldn't think it would do much damage, but it bends that bracket and breaks my step. I had to take it off, take them off both sides. See how I did my step. Broke it out right there. Can't be having that. So we we'll had to come up with something else. 14 miles, and we had our reload, getting reloaded, getting some pellets, soybean meal pellets, something like that. Head back to Georgia with him. Overhead, I don't know how you say it. Bunge, B U N G E. Indicator, where it's greater. Decatur, Georgia, not Alabama. Decatur, Georgia is where it's greater, but I just had to say it. Hey, the Alabama is, man, it's Alabama. Wait, we're getting loaded. Let's pull up. Got the light. And we stop.
about that ugly ride back down 65. That's one interstate that I hate. I guess that's why I despise Alabama so much. 65. Healy. Might as well be up down 81 in Virginia. Or 77 in uh, West Virginia. Up and down, up and down. We was parked up for the day and I wasn't expecting anybody to be here when I got here because it was, you know, after five o'clock. So I run up and I asked, say, hey, y'all still doing unloading? Went and got his boss or the owner. He was like, no, no, those guys are gone already today. But um, where you parked at? Oh no, you can pull on down there and park and they'll be there at seven o'clock in the morning. I'm like, all right, cool. That's fine. So I get parked up and on Wednesdays, I have my Christian meeting. So on Zoom, especially because I'm out on the road. So, you know, I get my work clothes off and I keep a suit and tie in the truck. I hop on Zoom, dudes rise up on the golf cart and he was like, Hey, hey, we're gonna load you today or tonight. I'm like, oh, really? Tonight? He's like, yeah. There's gonna a bunch of rain coming in the morning, so we're gonna go on and get it off. I was like, hey, cool. <laughs> so no time. Hop in the seat, even with my with my suit and tie on. I go scale in and uh, pull over the pit and get unloaded. So here I am, unloaded a day early. Now I can head towards where my other load that I'm going to go to Texas with. So we'll be able to get a good night's sleep tonight and wake up whenever we get ready in the morning. And hey, it's always nice to go and get a load off the back a day early. So I figured I'd just let y'all uh, know about that. You know, I didn't get no footage of it, but. It was a little tight little spot, but we made it work. So it pays to call your shipper or, or receiver. So in this case, I called my receiver and they said I could park here. When I got here, I saw people. And then I went and asked. So that in that way, I pulled up where I needed to be. And then I was seen. So, hey, I got unloaded. I always, I don't like stopping and parking at truck stops. So a lot of people don't like parking at shippers and receivers because, oh, well, if I need to use the bathroom, ain't no bathroom around. I take in consideration of that. I use the bathroom and do whatever I need to do before I get to my shipper or receiver. You park here, you never know. You better get unloaded. You may not, but in this case, I got unloaded. Oh, hail Megatron.